The Untouchable True School Sports Empire probably presents something the boxing game's been missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, where do I even begin? Where do I even begin? Um, I had a chance to watch uh, the IFL TV interview with Conor Ben, where him and Adrian Granados are going back and forth because Adrian Granados believes that he truthfully won the fight. Um... And I gotta, I gotta, I gotta be honest. You know, for those of you who don't know, Adrian Granados is a great friend of mine. I love Adrian. You know, um, I got nothing but good, good things to say about him. I think he's a, he's a, he's a good, he's a good boxer. You know, he's, he's, he's based on the circumstances of his career early on. You know, I, I feel like he's, he's made a good career for himself in boxing. But with that being said, with that being established, I keep it a buck. Adrian, I, I'm sorry, my friend, you lost this fight. You lost. I, I think you lost. Now. Um, when I scored the fight live on the channel, when we were live for the fight, I, um, I had it a little closer than the people that were watching along with me. And we had about 3000 people watching, um, 3, we had, we had 3000 people that watched the live. So like when I, when I scored the fight initially, I had it closer than most. I had it six, four, but I know for a fact that in the early, in the early rounds when there was a couple of swing rounds, you know, I gave Adrian one of those swing rounds. And I know a lot of people aren't going to give him those swing rounds because he wasn't aggressive for, for most people's liking. But I had it 6-4. You know, I could definitely appreciate what Adrian was doing. I could appreciate the fact that he's not a fighter that has the reputation for being a fighter that can get on his back foot and box and make his opponent miss. And he did that with Connor a lot. And he frustrated Connor. And he actually, in many ways, exposed Connor for the level that he's at and showed that he's not at the level of other young top welterweights like Jerron Ennis or Virgil Ortiz. So there's still a lot of work to do with Connor Penn. But I'll be honest. I'll be honest, and this is just my honest, this is my honest assessment. I'm, and I'm, I'm going I'm to go back and watch the fight and rescore it and see if see what I think. But with Adrian, right? With Adrian. Adrian Granados it has been through th this before. He's been through fights where he's the B-side, where he's fighting the, 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 the darling of the promotional company, and he's been robbed. And there were fights where I think he had... Better performances than this one. I'm actually gonna agree with Conor Ben. There were fights where I thought he had much better performances than this one, where he got robbed, and those were unjust, and those were a corruption to boxing, and those were a disgrace to boxing. Like the Robert Easter fight, disgrace to boxing. The Adrian Broner fight, a robbery. The uh, Kermit Cintron, a robbery. These fights are robberies. This right here, this was not a robbery. You know, I I, I wouldn't have been mad either way. Uh, if if, if fell had been a draw, I would have been mad. Um, but honestly, I haven't watched it back yet. I haven't watched it back yet, but he just didn't do enough. He didn't do enough. And with him, with all the experience he has, like Adrian, with all the experience that he has in the professional ranks of boxing, he should know that, okay, it's good to box. It's good to make him miss and all, all these things. And I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not discrediting um, some of the good defensive work that he did display in this fight. But where I, why I have a problem with Adrian Granados is that as the fight went on, the punch out put lowered, you know, he didn't really seem to commit to his offense and try to go, you know, put the extra emphasis, emphasis on his punches to hurt Conor Ben, you know, and I feel like he really, in my opinion, I feel like he blew an opportunity. I feel like he blew an opportunity to really um, revamp his career. And it's unfortunate for Adrian because he's been a hard luck fighter. And, you know, in a lot of cases, he has been robbed and he has been mistreated. But I don't think this is one of those cases. I think he lost this fight. And, um, you know. With that being said, we kind of get a glimpse into where Adrian is at mentally right now in his career because in the interview, Connor was complaining about how the fans and the public were, were, were complaining about the fight. And Adrian um, said back to Connor, his, his response was, I don't care about the public because, you know, they, 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 they I always lose these fights, close fights, and they, they never care about me and all these things. So, you know, forget the public. And I under, trust me, I, I understand where he's coming from because... A lot of people don't care. A lot of people do see him as a stepping stone when he is a better fighter than the record does indicate. But the reality is, you know, you you had it. You, you didn't do enough to win this fight. You didn't do enough to win this fight. You did some good things, but you didn't do enough of doing the fight. You know, when you look, when you look at the, when you look at the, the three score, scoring criteria of boxing, which is ring generalship, effective aggression, and defense. Your defense in pocket to this fight was was magnificent. Effective aggression, you know, there wasn't enough aggression to for it to be effective, so I can't, I can't really say that. And then, um, you know, ring generalship is debatable. You know, a lot, a lot of times too, like Connor, Connor Ben would push you to the ropes and he would land little grazing shots. 
You know, it was a, listen, it was a closer fight than people think when I scored it, but I, I, I'm not going to sit here and cry robbery. I think Conor Ben won this fight, and I think Adrian Granados has to really, and, and this, is, this, this is my words to him as a friend. I haven't talked to him yet. I have his number, so I'll probably be calling you soon, AG, if you pick up the phone. Um, my words to Adrian is this. You know, if you're gonna if you're if you're doing boxing at this point strictly for just the money and the love has left you, and you don't really think you can win these fights, um, then stop taking them because you're gonna put yourself in a very dangerous position. You know, you look good against tonight. You look good tonight against Conor Ben, who is lacking in experience and some tools. So you were able to exploit that and 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 really not get hit too much and you know win some rounds. But but I, I can kind of see it. You know, Adrian Granados looks completely demoralized as a fighter. The, the, the powers that be and the politics of boxing have fucked this kid over so much to where, you know, he just doesn't care anymore. And, I, and, and trust me, I get it. Like, I get it. Like, people who aren't involved in boxing and aren't, you know, in any way that, and, that, and that are just fans, you guys might not understand. But I, I get it. Being someone that, that spends every day covering the sport and being around it and, and fighters and seeing the things that go on behind the scenes, I fully understand where he's, where he's coming from. But I really think, you know, he's talked a lot about his life after boxing and things like that and I just I really think he needs to hang him up before take take a two take take one farewell fight in Chicago or Mexico or, or both if you want get two wins to end your career but I really think um Adrian should should uh look into life after boxing because I, I I don't think I don't think he has it in him to continue to um go forward you know he 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 fought this fight from round from round you know from basically round five on to me he fought this fight to survive and it looked good doing it and looked defense defensively good and at times and I can like like I said I can appreciate the good veteran defensive performance of Adrian Granados but you can't be fucked over as much as he's been fucked over in his career with all the politics that have went against him in his career and then box that way in another country against a guy that we all know Eddie Hearn has big plans for and expect to get a decision and then cry wolf after the fight so I I put that on Adrian I put that on George Hernandez I put that on everybody involved that that um that for that, that that made him fight that way, you know. Now, had he done that, now had had Adrian, had Adrian Granados actually pressed forward, and you know mixed his defensive abilities with some some hard straight right hands, some harder shots to the body, you know, doubling up on the jab, uh, just punches that would have been clear and clean and hard and effective. Then I could see where he's coming from, like, cause like Robert Easton Jr. He did things like that. His last fight against Jose Luis Sanchez, he did things like that. But in this fight, he didn't do that, and um, I'm very disappointed in his performance. To be honest with you, as, as as his friend and as a fan, I'm disappointed in his performance. So it's 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 unfortunate what happened in this fight. It's it's, it's unfortunate that the boxing game has demoralized this kid to to, to the point where uh, he's now just coming to survive. Where, where, where he's fighting to basically just survive, and um, you know, it's unfortunate because. Truthfully, nobody has been fucked over more by boxing than Adrian Granados. You know, this is a guy that won a WBC eliminator against Amir Imam for a title shot against Victor Postal and never got it. Never got it. And then after that, all he ever got was opportunities to fight at 147, never at 140. So, you know, it's just it's just a shitty way. It's just it, it, it's a shitty way to put a damper on what's been um a very very uh hard luck career for Adrian Granados, but this one this one isn't this in this case this isn't Eddie Hearn's fault this isn't the British judges' fault it's nobody's fault but his and I'm gonna leave it at that so you guys can let me know what you guys think in the comments down below go watch the video and um yeah like I say in every single one of these videos you can love me or you can hate me but I'm just kidding Daniel so until next time take care guys.